up guys it's your girl leslie your favorite youtube lesbian and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new so today is friday and you know what that means it is another episode of followers friday i missed you guys so much last week but i was spending time with the fam and sick so we didn't get to that last week but here we are again back on track if you do not know what Followers Friday is, that is where I choose an Instagram follower of mine at random. I also choose a look that they did randomly, just like scroll, whatever I land on, is what I have to attempt to do. So if you guys would like to see who this week's follower is, that keep on watching. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Next year. Oh wait, it is next year, so there's no excuse. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell so you don't miss an upload, and give the video a thumbs up. Okay, let's see who this week's follower is. All right, so uh, before we get into who the follower is, you know what we have to do. We have to do the Happy Friday dance. Yep, that's it. That's what we're doing. Sick and all. Ready? A one, and a two, and a. It's Friday. All right, that's as much as you guys are gonna get out of me. Energy-wise, I'm already tired from that. Okay, let me grab my notes. This week's follower goes by the name of Monroy Makeup on her Instagram. Her name is Guadalupe Monroy. She is a beautiful freelance makeup artist and she has one look on her page that I noticed. It was this really vivid yellow, and girl, I love that. I may have to recreate that one just because. Another thing that I noticed about her is for her cut creases, which are perfect, she really only uses like two colors. But for some reason, the two colors that she uses, she makes them look not basic. You know what I mean? Like, if you're just using two colors, it's generally like, okay, one color, let's crease, leave color, done. No, she blends them and makes them look amazing. So, yeah, I want to do that too. <laughs> so, make sure that you guys are going and following her. And if you want to be considered for the next Followers Friday, then you have to be following me. My socials are down below. I will also pop them on the screen, and who knows? Maybe you'll be the next Followers Friday shout-out. Okay, let's get into the look. Okay, let's get started, shall we? So today we're going to be working out of the Morphe Boss Nude Palette and the Alyssa Edwards Palette. When I was looking at this look, when I, you know, landed on it, hold on, before this dries set with the anastasia base and we're going to go into this weird looking green and the army green and we're just going to put that all over so anyway like i was saying so i was looking at this look and i was like oh cool you know doesn't seem too difficult we're gonna get something in nice and easy being that I am still under the weather. <laughs> and so I get into this look about halfway and I realize that like, I have to combine about like five different colors to get Spoil me, baby. Spoil, spoil me, baby. I want, baby. I want it all. Yeah, I need it. And that took forever. I could not get the color exactly where I wanted it. And I don't have a color like that in any of my palettes. So I was like, fuck. So it took me forever. But here we are. Hopefully we're close enough. This is my first video, I think, of 2020. <laughs> but can you believe it? We are literally in a brand new decade now. And I swear this year is going to be amazing. 
and drama free. And I hope that that is the resolution for you guys as well. All right, let's move on for a moment. And we're going to take the... I wish I had the names things on this. You guys know how I am. We're going to go back into just the army green. And we're going to blend this underneath. So did you guys have a good time on New Year's Eve? What did y'all do? You guys who know me, IRL, are going to like shit your pants right now. Because you know what I did for New Year's Eve? I stayed home. <laughs> we stayed home in our pajamas, ate our favorite food, drank a little wine, and watched TV. I know. Who am I, right? I don't know. I just wasn't really feeling it this year. I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm growing up. Maybe because now it's my birthday month and I'm going to be 41. I can't believe it. 41. <laughs> you better recognize the queen. I feel like I'm going to be a senior citizen before I know it. Like all of a sudden you guys are going to see me like, oh, Jordan. Like, I'll wobbly with my cane, because we all know I'm going to have a cane. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, I stayed home and was perfectly happy about it. Okay, so next, right in the crease, like right there, we're going to take the darkest green in the palette. I'm going to stamp that along the crease line. So last weekend, your favorite cameo person, aka our teenager, had his annual football camp down in San Diego. So that's where we were last weekend, and I have to tell you the story. It, it's story time right now. I'm going to blend this a little bit. So we get to the high school down there, and I pull into a handicapped spot to let him out. Mind you, I am handicapped, and I have a placard. I just didn't bring it. So I drop him off, and I'm sitting in the car still, trying to put the address of the hotel into my navigation. When some old man, my window was cracked because it was a gorge, comes up to me and goes, do you have your placard? And I said, no, but I have my paper. And he goes, well, I have my placard, and I need this spot. And I looked at him, and I said, Oh, so then the next thing he says to me, th this is the kicker right here. He says to me, can I see it? I said, you're not a cop. I don't have to show you shit. And then he walks off mumbling, well, that's because you don't have one. And I'm like, motherfucker, you don't know. Just because I don't look disabled on the outside, like... You don't know. You don't know what's going on. That shit pissed me off, like, to no end. I was so mad. Like, I wanted to find him and rip him a new one. Like, how dare you? Needless to say, instead of being considerate and going ahead and leaving when I was done, I sat there for longer. So, fuck you, old man. It's just wrong on so many levels. I have never... Had someone that bold try to come up to me like that. Bitch, you don't know me. I will cut you. I will. You're right. You bring it back before I get triggered again. I already don't feel good. Okay, let's go back over the top. I'm all like, okay, let's move on. Like nothing ever happened. We're going to go back to the first two colors we used and just blend it out. Okay. 
So the moral of the story is, you guys, don't judge a book by its cover. And I know we've all heard this since we were fucking itty bitty babies, but it's true. You never know what someone is going through. So, don't be a douchebag. Okay, going in one more with the dark one, and then we're going to cut the crease. Now that's you got in your bank account. Boys off a boat. Women rule the world. Women, women rule the world. Women, women rule the world. You know what I want. I know what you need. The bigger my eyes get, the happier you'll be. Okay, leave that there for now, and I'm gonna go cut the crease, and I'll be right back. Okay, okay. The crease is cut. This time I used the NYX White Shadow Base, because now we're going to go into the Alyssa Edwards palette, and we're going to start packing the white on halfway. So your favorite cameo person I have locked out of the bedroom. <laughs> so you're not going to see him today. He has discovered TikTok. He's known about it, but he has now discovered that he likes to make videos on there. And I'm like, okay, cool. Whatever. I don't care. The problem lies in the fact that every video practically that he makes, which seems to be like 75 a day, he comes in here to show me. So he comes in and out, in and out, all day long, interrupting whatever we're doing, doesn't matter. He could probably be fucking and he's too really like, hold on guys, hold on, I'm showing my TikTok, hold on. Like, that's how it is. <laughs> Real talk. So I locked him out because he keeps coming in and showing those videos and my baby's trying to binge watch on Disney Plus. I'm doing this. You do you. So I'm going higher on this side because of my hooded eye, but I'm going to be adding that dark green back so we'll even it out. All right, so next up, I found this to be a little odd. She used a little teeny tiny bit of what looked to be yellow to me. So what I did was I grabbed the weird light green from the Morphe palette, started with that first, right about there. When you look at her picture real quick, you don't even see it. So I didn't notice it until I was trying to do the look. I was like, oh shit, she's got like some pale yellow there. So I put that on first. And then I dipped into the teeniest amount of Brick Road from the Alyssa palette. And just added that in. The little padding motions. Because the base isn't set, I don't want to try to go like this because it's just going to fuck it up. All right, I'll fuck it up. All I'm asking is you give me what I need. Uh -oh. and it literally was just like that much. To me and I'll cut. Fulfill my every need and watch me take it all. So now we're going to go back and basically use all of the greens that we used before to put in the outer corner. This is where I added something to. You know how I said I didn't have like all the right colors? What I decided to do was mix in a little bit of Aqua Boogie from Regal Artistry Cosmetics. It's a blue pigment. It has a little shimmer in it, but I still managed to make it work. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm gonna insert the videos. <laughs> he was just on a good one and he was dancing on the football field. I think he was trying to um, audition for a boy band. So you guys have to see this. You guys know how he acts all fucking, oh, I'm hard, blah, 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 blah. Wait till you see these. Oh, he's in a boy band. Black male. Me and Jordan had a blast last weekend. <laughs> For the outer corner, let's take the olive and the army green first. And she did leave a little bit of a spot of the white up at the top. At the same amount, pull me right, I might take you out. Boys off a go. Take a small dip into that blue pigment. We're gonna add it in. The bigger my eyes get, the happier you be. So I'm just going back and forth in the greens to get to where I like it. Trying to get it to where it looks somewhat like hers. Don't worry about out here. You know we're gonna clean that up. And hers is basically rounded, so that's good. I don't have to try to do like a wing or anything like that. Awesome. Go back with the very first brush and take a dip into the first green. And swirl it and swirl and swirl and swirl. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. I need to put some more yellow right there, or it's gonna drive me nuts. I mean, I'm gonna have lashes on it anyway, so you're not gonna be able to see, but I can see it. Why are my eyes so creasy today? Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, what I was about to say was she also has white all the way underneath the brow, which is something I haven't done in a very long time. Like literally outlined at the underside of the brow with white. That this used to be the way to go. <laughs> you slap white underneath your brows. I'll try and find a brush. Oh, please. All right, so this we're gonna blend. I think they look pretty similar. I think this is a good spot for now. I couldn't tell if she lined or if it was just from the uh, lashes. So I just kind of lined lightly with black right there. Just want to darken this up a smidge. So I'm going to go and finish everything off and I will be back. Oh, let me tell you though, underneath it looks like she had a black, green, and the lightest green. So that's what we're going to smudge underneath. Okay? Okay. All right, you guys. So I am back. This is the final look. What do we think? I think that despite the challenge that I had in trying to match that grayish, bluish, greenish color that she used, I think we did a pretty good job. And as for the rest of my face, I used the Makeup Revolution Baked Bronzer. I used, what did I use for blush? 
Oh, the Juvia's Place blush in Bella, and I highlighted with the Pretty Vulgar highlight in Shimmering Swan. Um, I also forgot that she had put in the inner corner some like whitish silvery glitter. So this is why we have glitter in here. And last but not least, of course, I am wearing lashes from Shop Envy Me from their Badass collection. And these are in the style Sydney. So you guys know the deal with that. Go check them out. I've got a discount for you. Enter Pretty Tan at checkout and you will save some coin and I will keep some coin. So don't forget to go and follow Guadalupe. Spam her with likes, with love. She deserves it. And girl, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you did too. So go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and the bell is on so you don't miss an upload. And I will see you in my next one. Have a good weekend. Bye.